TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we would like to do is to set up a start-stop station on the Siemens HMI. So, this is a little bit different than setting up a start-stop station with real-world inputs. So we're going to walk you through the steps of doing that. The first thing that we want to create is the actual program. So, I'm going to drag down our input. We're going to call this HMI Start. Hit Enter. We want to define this tag. Select Define. And then the internal memory. Uh, M0.0 is the perfect address for this, so we're going to select Define. I have video showing you how to create, and I walk you step by step and explain everything when it comes to creating tags, not only for inputs, real world inputs and outputs, but also uh, HMI inputs and outputs, and those are in some of my previous videos. So uh, we have our Start button. We're going to grab our Output. We're going to identify this as a tag I've already created. We'll use the left yellow light, and that's already been tagged. And again, I have a video showing you how to do that. And then we want to put memory around here. So click here, select this, grab an input for our memory, drag this over. This will be left yellow light as well. Always want to verify these are the same addresses. And this is the one real big difference in an HMI start-stop station compared to a real-world start-stop station. We are actually going to use the examined if closed instruction on here. And I'll explain why when it comes to actually tagging this to a button in the HMI. So we're going to come here and we're going to call this HMI stop. Hit enter. We're going to define this tag, use the memory address that it was uh, that the program gives us. We hit define, and now we are ready to go. We have created our start stop station for the HMI, or at least the program for it. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the HMI root screen over here, and what we're going to do is we haven't done this before in this set of training videos. But we are going to expand out this, and we're going to go to the toolbox. And they give us some general elements here. And we want to select a button. So we're going to bring this out. And now this button is very plain, very basic. All right? We're going to expand it out, make it a square. Again, we want to make it about the size that an operator can touch it with feeling confident that they're actually activating the button. And then we want to expand its properties. All right. First thing I like to do, we're going to make the start button first. Scroll this down. Come here and select, and just type in start. You can see that change has been made right here. Grab this and move it up just a little bit so we have some more extra room. Um, then what we want to do is we want to tag this to the HMI start memory location that we created. So we'll go to events and after you click the events tab it's usually going to be on click. So this is how I do it. You click on the press and then we want to add a function to this. All right. And the best way that I know how to do this is you can either go to the edit bits or all system functions. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find set bit while pressed because what we want to do is make this input momentary it's not a latching button like the others are so we're going to do set the set bit while key is pressed so we select this and now we need to actually tag it to that input so we select here um, we want to come over to our search and this is going to be in our PLC tags. So we select this, select our default tag table, and here it is, our HMI start. So we select that. We can verify the memory address if we want. We select the uh, little green check, and that tags this right here. Okay? 
and then this bit will set where it is at um, when you're first opening it up. So this will actually, in fact, make it a normal yo's, uh, normally open button. So this is ready to go. So now what we want to do is we want to make this look like a start button. Okay, so let's go over to appearances. And what we want to do is we want to change, we want to grab a different, uh, we could increase the size of the border if we wanted to. Okay. We could change the border type if we would like. All right. We can change the color of it if we would like. So what we want to do now is um, we want to select solid here all right, for our fill pattern. And then we want to select a color. Gray is not a great color for a start button. They are typically represented by a green. And they have a number of shades of greens. You can go through and select one that you like. Uh, we'll grab a brighter one so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay. And this start button is now created. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to make the HMI stop button. So we're going to expand this out. Grab another one over here. Select it, drag it out. We want to make it roughly the same size. See that line up here that helps you to align it up? Drag this over to here. And there we go. There's some really fancy ways you can go to make sure that they're exactly the same size and everything. We're not going to bother with that right now. But we're going to go through almost the exact same process again to tag this. So this is selected. We're going to increase the property size. We're going to go to general up here. Type in stop. Hit enter. Stop appears. Now this time let's go ahead and go to appearance. Change our background to solid. And our stop buttons are usually red. So we'll select a shade of red that's easily to see. If we want to get fancy, we can make sure that the um, border type is the same. Okay, we can increase the thickness of it. All right. And now that it has a general look that we like, I think we're ready to go. So we'll click here. Then we want to go to events and we want to add a function to allow it to activate. So what we want, make sure we press is selected. I'm going to click add function, edit bits, set bit while it is pressed so we can select that. Now we need to create, we need to go out and find the tag that we created for it. Again, PLCs, default tag table. The HMI stop, verify the address here is what it was when you created in the program, and select that, hit enter. Now, stop buttons in the real world are normally closed, but in this one what we're going to do is we actually made the contact in the PLC program a normally closed. So we can use a normally open push button. And out in the real world, there are some safety concerns of why you never want to use a normally open switch as, as a stop button. But since this is in the digital world on the HMI, we don't have to be concerned with a wire falling off this, the normally open stop button and then us not being able to stop it. Um, this way, it's totally safe to make that uh, HMI stop button normally open. But if your teacher wants to um, make this a uh, normally closed switch, you would change this bit to zero and you could make the uh, contact normally open in the program, okay? So now that this is ready, both of our programs are ready to be downloaded. So we will go ahead and download the PLC program. it's downloaded to your PLC, what we can do is go back to the main OB1, put this into the monitor function, and you can see that this stop button is green, so it's good and ready to go. 
And let's go ahead and activate the start button momentarily. Green light comes on. You have logical continuity through your memory. Hit the stop button. It turns off. Start, stop, start, stop. You've created a start stop station with your, just using the tags on your HMI uh, Siemens uh, touchscreen. Okay, so these are the steps you go through for doing this. All right, now let's go ahead and um, make this look just a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this offline. We're going to go to our root screen. Now what we want to do is make a start-stop station that works a little bit better together. Okay, and I walk you through these steps in the manual. I don't want to show them to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a box and drag it out here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag this out. And then you're going to select the order. And you're going to send this to the back. I'm going to line this up, make it look a little nice. Double click on it and bring up the properties. Now there's no events for that because it's just an object. It's just something you can see. So what we want to do is we want, it's a, we want to change the color a little bit of a darker gray, a little bit more like a panel, like a control panel out in the field. So we'll minimize this. And now we actually have a start stop station that's inside of a digital control panel. So what we can do here is we highlight them all, right click. You can group them all together. So now you can move them around and they will stay where, where they're at. So we'll go ahead, minimize this. All right. Let's go ahead and down list, download this to the Siemens HMI. And we can take a look at how it looks. This looks a little bit more professional. Now you can see that the start and stop station look much better, a little bit more similar to what they're going to actually look like if they were in a real control panel. So let's go ahead and hit the start button. Yellow light kicks on. Hit the stop button. Yellow light kicks off. You have just created a start stop station on an HMI. All right, this is Unit 15.1 for the TII Technical Education Systems Siemens HMI and PLC Trainer. Thanks for watching.